What's up, everybody? I'm so glad that you're here. Welcome to the Devo on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining and being a part of this. We are going through this Devo series at Christmas time called Good Things. And today is a, just another great verse in our Devo series. Uh, it is, it is, I love that, that you're, you're, uh, that the writer for today, he, they just point out the, uh, the, the, the big truth that this passage of scripture is the most quoted passage of scripture. And it says this, it says, did you know today's verse is the most quoted verse in the Bible? And for good reason in one sentence. And I love this part. This truth is that in one sentence, it summarizes God's love for humanity. I mean, think about today's passage. It summarizes God's love for humanity. And today's passage is found in John, and, and, and you probably know it. You more than likely know it by now. I, I would be very surprised if you didn't. But, you know, it, it's, it's found in the book of John, and John is, is recording this conversation. He's writing down this conversation that happened between Jesus and this guy named Nicodemus. And it's just an amazing passage that and that really outlines God's purpose for Christ, why Christ came, and every in in the the reason why he had to come. And it's and so Jesus and Nicodemus, they're having this conversation and they're talking about being born again and in and, and, and Nicodemus is trying to understand a little bit better. And and this is what Jesus says. And it's really the reason why we even celebrate Christmas. It's John 3, 16, and it says this, For God loved the world in this way. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. That is John 3, 16, one of the most famous passages in Scripture. And in one sentence, it summarizes God's love for you and for me, for the world. And, and, and what an amazing thing it is that God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to take our place, to pay our penalty of sin so that we can have a life restored back to God. That is awesome. That is such, such a wonderful thing. And the amazing thing is, as God gave this great thing, the amazing thing is he invites us to share his love with everyone we come into contact with. I love the statement, we are never more like God than when we give. We are never more of a reflection of God than when we give, whether we give of our time, our efforts, our, our, our resources, wherever we give. Whatever it is, when we give and we do it in the name of Christ, we are reflecting who God is, his love and his grace and his mercy. So I want to encourage you as you go through the season, look for opportunities to give, whether it's just like giving your time, uh, get, you know, maybe like sharing lunch with somebody, maybe making somebody lunch or writing somebody a note or, or helping somebody that needs some help. I want to encourage you to find a way to reflect the love of God in your life through giving. And remember this, that, that we can celebrate the goodness in the, in, in, of this season because of Jesus and how that Jesus completes his, God's plan. Jesus completes God's plan. What an awesome truth that is. All right, let's talk about prayer requests. Prayer request time. Okay. I want us to encourage to remember to pray for each other. You and I should be praying for each other. And I want to encourage you to do that, to be praying for our youth group, to be praying for those that haven't been able to come for whatever the reasons are. We'd love to see them come back. So let's be praying for them. Let's be praying for those that are sick. Let's be praying for each other just to help each other grow. And, and we need to be praying for Miss Karen uh, as she's going through and fighting this cancer. We need to be praying for Brother Steve as he cares and, and treats her and helps her and, and, and does the things that he's got to do in addition to all the responsibilities that he does as our pastor. And so we just need to be praying for each other. We need to be praying for our upcoming winter camp that we have coming up December 28th through 30th. We'll talk about that in, in our announcements 
But let's go ahead and go to Lord of Prayer. And hey, if you have a prayer request, feel free to put it in the chat or feel free to, to send me a text message or, you know, some give me give me a message so I know how to pray for you. And even if it's an unspoken, hey, I'm not going to if you say unspoken, I'm not going to get up all in your business and try to get all the deets. You know, you tell me it's unspoken. That's that's all I need to know, because God knows what it is that you're going through. And so let's go to Lord in a word of prayer. Father, I thank you so much for just allowing us to be here. Father, I thank you that your son, Jesus, completes your plan when he came to earth and we get to celebrate his birth and, and the life that he gave for us. Father, Lord, I pray that you be with our, our, our students wherever they are, whether they're watching this now, they're watching this later, whether they're watching this by themselves or with family or friends, wherever, Lord, I pray that you be with those that are that are struggling with the things that they're struggling with, Father. I pray that you be with those that are that are sick and are not able to come and and to be, hang out and to be with us, Lord. And I pray, Father, you just continue to help our youth grow stronger together, Lord. Father, I pray for Miss Karen as she is fighting cancer, as she is dealing with this uh, horrible disease, horrible sickness, Father. The Lord, we know that you are a God who can heal, and so we are asking for that in Miss Karen's life. Father, I pray that you be the doctors and the nurses and everybody that takes care of her. Give her, give them wisdom, give them knowledge as to how to best treat her, Father. Lord, I pray for that you be with Brother Steve. Give him endurance. Give him, give him peace. Give him rest, Father, when he needs it. Lord, give him, give him the ability to 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 um to endure when 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 things are getting rough and things are getting tough, just as you've been doing, Father. We are so grateful. For brother steve and just how he leads us as our pastor and how he takes care of miss karen lord and father i pray uh that you continue to bring healing to miss uh to, to crystal's uh life father with with the stuff that she's she's been having to go through father thank you so much that the report came back that there was no celiac or cancer or anything like that in in with miss crystal father and so but lord i pray that you continue to bring healing to her father i pray that you just uh um be with us as we go as we prepare for youth camp father i pray that the ones uh that for those of us that that go father i pray that we have a life-changing experience unlike any other lord thank you for all that you're doing in our youth group in our church and all that you're going to do father what a blessing it is to see your hand at work during this season in our church and it's in your name i pray amen awesome 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 guys don't forget to be praying for each other throughout the week you know Prayer is such a wonderful and powerful thing. And so, let again, let me know if there's a way that I can pray for you. Please let me know. I'd love to know how I can pray for you, even if it's an unspoken request. All right, y'all. Let's talk about announcements. Boom! <laughs> announcements. Announcement number one is this, Cold Springs Camp, Winter Camp, this year is December 28th through 30th. It is $50 per person, but hey, if money is an issue, it doesn't have to be an issue. We want you to go and we will work and, and, work and do whatever we can to help you be able to go because we believe in when we get together, when we go on a retreat, that it gives us an opportunity for for to, to have a have an experience unlike any other, and so we want you to go. So if you want to go, sign up. Go to Cold Springs. The website's down here. I can't ever. I don't know why I can't. Why can't I remember the website? But anyway, it's it's gonna be like somewhere right in here, or it's it's gonna be there. And register. The deadline to sign up. The deadline to sign up is December fifteenth. Y'all, the deadline to sign up is December 15th, so you only have a little bit over a week to sign up. So please, please, please sign up. All right, so another announcement I have is the Ugly Christmas Sweater Contest. We are going to do something brand new. Hey, in fact, if you notice something in our youth space, we have something new. We have a Christmas tree, and we're going to be doing some awesome things to create new traditions here at Christmas time for Southside Baptist students, and we're excited to get to do this. We're excited to, to, to have a tree, to get to decorate the tree, and we did that Sunday, and that was super cool. Um, in fact, let's see. I think right here 
is uh, the group of students that helped decorate the tree Sunday night. You were missed. You were missed if you were not. If you anytime we miss you when you're not here. I'm just saying. Like Saturday, we went and saw uh, we went and saw a movie together called Christmas with the Chosen, and we had a great time together. And so, you know, we're doing things. So, hey, the only way that you can know about some of this stuff is by coming. And we would invite you to come. But December 22nd, y'all, we are having an ugly Christmas sweater contest. We're going to give prizes for the most creative, the ugliest. Because, I mean, seriously, there's some that are super creative. And then there are some that are ugly. And then the cheapest. So, like, maybe for you, it's like, you know, you have a pen mark. And you're like, and it's and it's got some sort of Christmas tree or just like, you know, a note that says, this is my Christmas tree shirt, ugly Christmas sweater or something like that. You're limited by your creativity. We had a great time doing this for our, at Fear Factor for our Halloween costume contest. Uh, so we're doing this. We're bringing that same idea to the ugly Christmas sweater contest. That is going to be Wednesday, December 22nd. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Come hang out. We'll, we'll do things like have hot cocoa and just, it'll be a great night. You don't want to miss it. But hey, even, even more awesome and as exciting as I am about the ugly Christmas sweater, y'all, I am super excited about the youth Christmas party it is December 18th, y'all. That's just a little bit over a week away. And guess what, y'all? We are bringing back the video scavenger hunt. Let's go. I mean, seriously, all the fun that we had. All the hijinks, all the craziness that happens is coming back for our 2021 Youth Christmas Party. It's going to be great. We're also going to do a gift exchange. Max amount that you can spend, 10 bucks. Okay, and you, do you have to spend $10? No, no. You can get like a really awesome little thing at Target for like a buck. I mean, there's lots of cool things you can do. You know, it, it could be something that you can make if you have the re if you have the stuff and you can make it. It could be just... You know, whatever it is, you are, you are, it's up to you, but no more than $10, no more than $10. We're going to do a gift exchange and, and you don't have to make it a boy gift or a girl gift. It can just get, be a gift that can be for a boy or a girl. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to have fun. We're going to play a couple of games. We're going to have prizes. Y'all, it is going to be, can I say lit? Does that sound okay if I say lit? Because it's going to be awesome. And that's like the only word I can think about. Maybe not. Maybe I'm too old for that. But I can promise you it's going to be awesome and amazing. You don't want to miss it. That's December 18th. It starts at 6 o'clock. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that I can count. 6 o'clock. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. And it's going to be amazing. And hey, don't forget. Sign up for Youth Camp. Cold Springs. Whatever that website is that I pointed out earlier. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a great time. Jonathan Kofer is the speaker. Band is Jacob Diley and the boys. It's going to be a great time. And uh, guys, looking forward to it. Don't forget deadline, December 15th. Uh, hey, guys, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow night. We are talking about lessons from like rediscovering Christmas, you know. And, and tomorrow I'm excited to talk to you about why we celebrate when we celebrate Christmas. And so it's I'm looking forward to it. Want to see you guys there. 6 o'clock is food. 6.30 is worship. I love you guys. If there's anything I can do, please let me know. Hey, if I see you at a ball game or if you see me at a ball game, come say hi. Come say, what's up? Come say, oh gosh, why are you here? No, just come say hi to me. You know, be a little bit nice. Don't say that. But come, come say hi to me. We'd love to see you. We'd love to give you a high five or, or brick it or wherever. So uh, anyway, love you guys. Anything I can do, let me know. But I will see you guys tomorrow at 6 o'clock food, 6.30 Worship, love your faces. Bye. Boom.